Welcome to another session from LearnReason.com. My name's Matt. And in this session, we're going to go over the FX sends and return sections of the SSL vir you know, virtual mixer here. And we're also going to go over the control room uh, section here with the FX send and return buttons and how they work and what they're for. I'm going to demonstrate how cool they are and what you can do with them. And uh, the eight buttons here that, you know, they uh, correlate to these eight buttons here. And we'll go over the pre and post switch here on each one. And to end, we'll go uh, talk a little bit more about the uh, gain staging that we uh, talked about in the last video on Wednesday. Uh, and give you a little bit more example of uh, how it all works. So, let's, let's look at the signal flow of how the sends and the returns flow through this mixer. Okay, you can see right here, figure this is the top of a channel on the mixer. The signal's coming through and it goes through the send section here where you can activate it and you can uh, make it post or pre. I'll talk about that in a second. You have your level here of how much you're going to send of that signal. How much of that signal you are going to send to the FX send which is right here. This gives you another level to send to the, the uh, effect, then the, out of the effect, and it comes back to the return and back out into the mix. With the FX return here, you have the, how much of the level you want to return. You know, you can control the level coming back into the mixer or the FX return section, and you can pan the signal right or left. You can also mute this channel of the FX return. In other words, uh, if you press mute here on one, every single one of the sends that are active will be muted. That's what this button does. So that's the signal flow of how it all works. So let's see it in action. Okay, so here we are in the master section. And let's, let's do a demonstration here of, uh, we'll use the drums, and we'll just get them going. And you can see I got a plate, a plate going here on the send, a plate reverb. And I can up, up the level here if I want. You see it was up, I can lower it. See this is separate from this level. And if I wanted to, I can up the level coming back into the mixer. Or I can lower it. I normally just use this level right here. But there's three different ways to control the level of each one of these sends. I can also take the, the signal of the effect and I can put it to the left or the right, which is very cool. I'm going to show you how cool this is. And I could mute it. So this is, comes in handy if you're listening to your song and you got, like I have reverbs on all these and I want to see how the reverb might be affecting the track or whatever. It's a, it's a good option to have this mute button. So let's go down to the control room section here. and. When you press the FX send here button right here, what you're going to do is get the send of the track you have selected here. So we're on the drums, and that means we're on um, we're on send one. So I need to go to one, and I can hear my drums. That's the dry signal before it's hitting the sends here before it gets sent out. Now I can hear what the what the return sounds like. And what this does is it, is it allows you to go in and tweak the uh, effect. So I can go right here. It opens up the effect. It's the plate. And I can, you know, I can tweak it any way I want it to be. Then I can go back to the master to see how it sounds. Uh, man, let, me, let me tweak it a little bit more. See what it sounds like. Go back. And that's what those buttons do. 
And, you know, of course, 1 through 8 correlates 1 through 8 right here. Let's talk a little bit more about the pre here and post button. Right here, clicking on it, the pre fader on, pre fader off. And what this means is that the send channel output or signal flow is normally post, meaning that the fader changes the sound level or the send is linked to the fader. So if you, you bring the fader down, the send level is going to come down with it. You bring it up, it's going to bring it up with it. That's all that means. If you have it pre, what that means is the signal, the send signal is not going to change as you move the fader. In other words, it's going to be unlinked to the fader. That's the way I look at it. If it's, if it's pre, it's not linked to the fader. If it's post, it's linked to the fader. It's a good way to remember it. So I'll give you a demonstration of that. Now look. You, you still hear the send, right? Let's turn it off. You see, hear the difference? Um, you might want that as an effect. Say, say you're, um, you're bringing some, uh, in your mix, you're, you're bringing faders in and out with automation. And maybe on this particular instrument, you, uh, you want that, the reverb trail of the send to stay as the volume of the instrument actually does go down as an effect. That's where it could come in handy. But um, I'm just showing you how it all works. And uh, it's actually pretty simple. So, so if you want to put it in an insert, say like on number six here, um, what you do is you right click in it and you say create a send effects. So what I'm going to do is create a phaser. I'm going to show you how we can, how cool this is with the sends and returns here and the pans and how you can create these cool effects. They help you create cool effects in real time as you're, you know, you're, you're mixing and creating your uh, sonic, the sonic palette of your song. Okay, so let's listen to this vocal and uh, I'll show you how I dialed in the chorus, and then we'll, what we're going to do is add some phaser. We're going to say this is Vox Phase, and what we're going to do is, what I want to do here is I want to have uh, the chorus on a send effect with the chorus maybe to the right and the phaser uh, on, the, on a send effect with the, uh, the phaser to the left, and that's how you can, it's a really cool way to use these. So let's 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 do it. There are times in my so, life when things just I'm on don't five. Go right. So I'm gonna go right here to five. And we're seems and I can hear my effect. So I can click here. I look to the left, and you know I should have looked to the right. And I can dial in the, the uh, effect. Maybe get a little more rate. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? So, so I can go get back in there. I look to the left, and you know, I can dial it in here. To the right. There are times in my life when things just don't go right. I like that. So now let's turn Seems on our phaser. Like everything I do gets wound up so damn tight. Let's go down to number I six. To the left. And let's go and, and hear what we got. I should have looked to the right. There are times in my life when things Here's just our... don't go right. Seems like everything I do gets I'm gonna sink it. So damn tight. Get a little crazy there. I look to the left, and you know I'll share Let's try that in the right. in the mix. And there are times in my life. Let's when fade them. This one all the way to the left. Right. And this one all the way to the or Seems right and like left. Everything I do gets wound up so damn tight. 
Let's take it off and listen to it. I look to the left, and you know I should have looked to the right. There are times in my life. So let's listen to it in the mix. Just don't go right. Seems like everything I do gets wound up so damn tight. I look to the left, and you know I should have looked to. So it's kind of loud, and what we can do is 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 mess with the level going into the send here. To the right. There are times in my life when things just don't go right. Seems like everything I do gets wound up so damn tight. Okay, that sounds pretty good. What's so cool about this is you have eight effects that you can go pre or post, and you can have these effects right or left, and you have pretty much an infinite uh, way to control the volume of the effect, which is, is, I think is just amazing. And you can come over here to the, the FX send button or the FX return. And in real time, you can, you can hear the, the effect versus the, your source. And you can dial in your effect in real time. And you know, that's what mixing is. You're creating, uh, you know, you just don't turn on effect and that's it. Put it on a send and start dialing it in. It's really cool. So let's now let's look a little bit more at the the uh, the gain staging. And uh, I just want you to look here. Um, in our last video on Monday, I talked about gain staging and I and I said 10 was a good number. You know, there's various people out there in the reason world that honestly think that the, the virtual SSL mixer that Propellerhead's made is not capable of doing accurate or good gain staging using the VU meters right here on each channel. And you know what? I'm just going to let you listen. And I want you to look at the metering. I want you to hear the, the, the power in the song. And all you're really listening to is a static mix here. You know, I've got, I did my gain staging right up here, all gain stage. I've added in, uh, you know, some effects. I've, I have barely any EQ going. I've got some rough, rough mixing here. You know, I'm not even done making the song. I'm creating it. It's, it's, it's cruising along. And, uh, you know, when you're making, uh, when you're, say you're tracking something, you know, you can track something. Gain stage it right to right to ten minus ten minus seven. I I love ten. That's the number I use. You use the number you like. And as I I put more uh, record more tracks, I put them in. I always gain stage first, and then you know I start creating this way. And I kind of I kind of do. I get my my gain staging as I go, and uh, then I can add in stuff. And see, you're starting from a rock-solid basis of gain structure. And it works, I'm telling you. So let, let's listen to this for a moment. And I want you to look at the numbers. I want you to look at the dials here. How they're all hanging right around 10. And how I'm sitting rock-solid right around 6. Another thing, if you, if you, you know, command or control click the control room knob here, it sets it at 0. So basically you are hearing the exact same level that would be coming out um, right here, the master out. So if you ever want to check that, just all you have to do is uh, command or control click this to Unity and you have your master out signal. Seems like everything I do gets wound up so See the levels? I look to the left, and you know I should have up to the right. I got a little bus compression on there, and everything. Look, look at everything. Right. Seems like everything I do gets wound up. I've got a little. Uh, I've got 
create a little space with my panning. I've got my uh, uh, this is this is my guitar. sub and uh you know i've got this i've got the guitar pan to the left i've got my piano uh pan to the right then i've got my vox up the middle with uh then i'm panning my um my effects right and left and it adds a pretty cool dynamic so i really hope this kind of helps you guys out you know get you a little deeper into the ssl virtual mixer and uh in our next video, I think that will be next Monday, uh, getting close to the holidays, uh, maybe we'll go over the input section here and talk about the, uh, the signal path here and uh, the inserts. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And of course, if you guys have any questions, post them. You can post them on the forum. You can post them on the, the, the YouTube forums, the, the Facebooks. The, the Googles and the and the and the Twitters. <laughs> so you guys take care and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. There are times in my life when things just don't go right. Seems like everything I do gets wound up so damn tight I look to the left and you know I should have looked to the right